Hi, I'm Bob Welt, and this is how to read a metric dial caliper. There are a lot of different types of calipers out there, but today we're going to be looking at a metric dial caliper that can read to the nearest one one hundredth of a millimeter. We look on the caliper itself to see what each mark on the dial represents. See, this one says that each mark on the dial represents one one hundredth of a millimeter. That is, 0 0.01 millimeters. The dial calipers have two scales, a main scale and a dial scale. Let's look at the main scale first. I don't think it'll give us much trouble at all. The marks on this scale are just millimeters. Every 10 millimeters, there's a label, sort of like a little ruler. You read the main scale here, along the edge of the sliding part of the calipers. This edge is called the reference edge. I'm going to take the dial off this caliper and let you look at the main scale by itself. First, I'll set the calipers to read a little more than 15 millimeters, just to let you see how it works. You see, you can just count up to see the number of whole millimeters for the measurement, like this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. The reading is 15 millimeters. Now, I'll put the dial back on and let you read that. With this caliper, the dial tells you the two numbers that follow the decimal point. Keep in mind that it's always two digits, no more, no less. In this case, you can see that the reading is 0.24. So the overall reading on this caliper is 15.24. Okay, it's time for you to try one. I'll set the caliper to a reading and let you try to figure out what that reading is. Pause the video when you see Sparky's pause. That way you can take as much time as you like. Okay, here's the reading. Pause the video and write down your answer. Did you say 12.34 millimeters? Great, let's try another one. This one's going to be harder, but I think you can do it. Pause the video to be sure you have enough time to think about it. All right, the answer is 10.07 millimeters. And this one reminds me that there's one last thing we need to cover. Did you notice how hard it was to see the 10 millimeter mark? Sometimes you may see just part of a mark showing. How do you know whether or not a mark is showing enough to be counted? Now here's the answer. To know whether or not a mark on the main scale is showing, look at the dial. If a mark is only partially showing and the dial is on a small number, then you count the mark. It's a new mark. If a dial shows a large number, like 0 0.96, 97, 98, or 99, then you don't count the partial mark. That mark doesn't count until the dial passes the zero mark. Then you count it. Here's another example to show you what I mean. Pause the video and have a look. The answer is 22.98 millimeters. See how the 23 millimeter mark is partially showing? But you don't count it because the dial has not passed zero yet. Okay, this is the last one. If you get it, you're ready to use this beloved instrument. Pause the video and see how you do. The answer is 20.01 millimeters. Now some people make a mistake of saying 20.1 millimeters, but that's not right. Be sure you remember that you're always reading two decimal places from the dial, and that might help keep you from making that mistake. Well, that's about all the time we have for now. I hope you feel better about reading metric dial calipers. I'm Bob Welds, and these are Weld Notes.